Hi, this is Dr. Martinez and I want to explain to you a uh, syndrome that many small dogs get, toy dogs. Toy dogs are those breeds that we bred to be very small so they fit in our, ho fit in our house, in our beds, in our couches. Our poodles, terriers, chihuahuas. Today it was a West Highland Terrier that had this syndrome. It's called a luxating patella, or the kneecap goes out of place. If we look at our dog Boney here, Stay bony. Um, you can see bony, uh, there's his head and his spine, there's his pelvis, there's the rear legs, and there's the forelegs, and here's the rib cage. You can see the rib of his cage. I just love to say rib cage because it's just like a cage. I'm in the cage, I'm out of the cage. I'm in the cage, I'm out of the cage. So, but let's look back at the stifle. This is this this uh, this is the stifle or knee joint. And uh, it has a kneecap, and it's depicted here. It's not a very good specimen, actually. But this little kneecap should ride in that groove. This is my patella. And one of my patella was to slide all, or my kneecap was to slide all the way over here. And my kneecap is held by all these muscles up here, and it's joined to this bone down here by the patellar ligament. So you can see, if you hold this next to it, that my the kneecap, which is this, is right here, and the groove of my femur is below my kneecap. And then here is my tibia, which is right here. This, this model uh, goes right, is the stifle, which is right there in the dog. And if we look at where the kneecap is, the kneecap is held on to the lower leg bone by this ligament and the upper uh, leg by these, this tendon when there's a whole bunch of muscles here called the quadriceps so when the muscles tighten up and when it, when it held down here the kneecap rides in this groove and what happens is as the leg is bent flexed and extended this kneecap rides in this groove what happens if this groove isn't very, very pronounced? What happens is it's too doesn't stick up as much, or that this groove is too shallow? Well, the kneecap slides out of place, like that. Another thing that happens is that this bone in the tibia may be over a little bit and pull, pull the patella to the side. So it's called a luxating patella. So let's look at a little dog that has a typical lameness due to the to a luxating kneecap. You can feel the luxating kneecap because when I feel a dog's leg, and they're here on the exam table, I actually put my fingers here and I can feel it go to the sides. Okay, Max. Every once in a while, you just you kind of hike that leg up, don't you? He's walking like it does not even bother him. Exactly, that's it's more, more like, mechanical. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, now now I'm and that's what a luxating patella is. So I hope I explained it to you pretty well, and I hope you didn't get too grossed out by my very powerful leg. Thanks for watching.